our philosophy behind doing all this was to try to present a, an image of the war that you know was like the how it was experienced by the soldiers and they certainly experienced it in color they, they didn't experience it in black and white We, we sent it out to um, a couple of lip, lipper readers, so any time anyone sang something, they would, they would, they would um, come back and give us a, their opinion of what was actually being said. Then we got actors to, to do the voices and um, you know, to try to bring, it, bring the film to life. We were in conditions that isolated us completely from civilization. We got so generate, so isolated, living from this mud, and you could sympathise with how a rabbit must feel because we were hunted by mankind, just the same as a rabbit. You knew your lives were in one another's hands and it united you very closely and you didn't let anything interfere with that. We think of it as a black, as a black and white war. It's like, you know, our image of the First World War is, you know, is a, it's a black and white war. But, but it was not a black and white war. It was a war in full, in full colour. If, if you were a soldier there, it was a full colour war. My grandfather was in, was in the war, so um, it's, it's something that I've always had, had, had an interest in, yeah. I did the film for free, so, you know, it was, it's definitely a labour of love for me.